truck friend. Hi there, truck friend. Today we have our latest MAN TGX for you. With this vehicle, we fulfill the legal registration requirements that take effect in July 2024. But the focus of today's test drive is on safety. We'll go to our closed-off test track to take a closer look at our new assistance systems, front detection, and the emergency brake assist EBA Plus. Today we'll get some help from our MAN road test expert who knows these systems very well. Christoph, what are the main differences between the two systems? The main differences lie in the front detection range and the operating speed. This means that the combination of both systems significantly increases safety even at low speeds. In a detection range that is now even larger, Front Detection and EBA Plus system can detect additional objects. The improved camera now not only detects lanes and vehicles, but also pedestrians and cyclists. The radar unit has also become larger due to the addition of a second radar. The EBA Plus system records and analyzes relevant objects along with their movement profiles. The cooperation between the sensors is phenomenal. OK, David, that's the theory, but let's take a look at the actual function. I'm really looking forward to this. Together with the OptiView mirror replacement system, the driver has an excellent view of the vehicle's surroundings. If there is a person in front of the vehicle when it moves off, this poses a high risk of an accident. The driver is warned on the display even when the vehicle is stationary. If it drives off anyway, a warning signal sounds. From 10 km per hour, EBA Plus monitors the area in front. The performance of the system exceeds the latest legal requirements. Low-speed traffic is also monitored. Pedestrians and cyclists, as well as their movements, are also detected. On the display, the driver is warned of objects in the danger zone. Let's take a look at what happens if the driver does not react appropriately on the closed-off test track. We approach the simulated hazardous situation at approximately 30 kilometers an hour. The person between the two vehicles cannot be detected by the driver nor by the EBA Plus. As soon as it is detected by the camera and radar sensors, the system reacts immediately with emergency braking. The driver also detects the person very late and would have to react immediately to avoid a collision. In such a situation, the system will probably react faster than the driver. I think so too. Let's see how the system reacts to cyclists. A visual and acoustic warning message is issued as soon as the cyclist enters the danger zone. The system classifies the sudden stop as an emergency situation and initiates immediate braking. If the driver does not react appropriately to warning messages, the system initiates emergency braking in good time. Thanks to the camera and radar, the system reacted at the right time. An emergency stop any later probably could not have prevented a collision. Thanks to these two systems, we are achieving a significant increase in safety and partner protection with model year 2024. Thank you for watching. I really had a lot of fun again. See you next time.